Aha! Here we are, my friends, subscribers, and wonders through the universe. We're on the 9th of December, 2022. Uh, 12 plus 9 is 21. Uh, that's the universe, and if we add anything to this, it's going to take it over 22 I'm pretty sure uh, 6 is what we had um, so that makes it 27 uh, which we would have to reduce we add them together 2 plus 7 9 and 9 is the hermit sort of feel like that hermit um, we retreated up the side of a hill <laughs> And I've had to go within often <clears throat> to find my inner wisdom. So it's hermit time again. And um, see, we're on a Friday, right? Yep, Friday. So, a lot of you will be working, um, some of you will be, I, I suppose I probably got a, a bit of an older crowd that watches me, I'm, but that's one of the analytics that I don't have, actually, you know, when I look at the analytics, uh, I don't see nada on uh, well, I think I've discerned that mostly uh, women are watching me. You would think women wouldn't be that interested in, but that might be a sexist thing to say, so I'll retract that. <clears throat> I am glad that you come to see this, whatever your gender is, or how, however you want to be uh, fucking identified. All right, so we have that nine, uh, nine again here, nine, nine. And there'll be a nine up there, but it's the same nine. And this is the amplitude. It's how far down the line comes from zero, or how far up, depending on which way it's orientated. This one is coming down as if in falling water. Uh, I came in at four. Four is the emperor in tarot, the major arcana. The emperor is uh, the divine ruler, right? And he's the a sovereign being for sure. Um, benign is the way you want him to be because uh, otherwise we would probably call him a tyrant. But you can't question one who's uh, divine, right? Um, well, you can. You can question me, and even though I might display some of that divineness, you know, question everything is what I've been told. Uh, four plus nine, uh, that'd be 13, death, transformation and transition. But let's not go there. Let's just go with the nine and the four. <clears throat> It is, uh, you'll have a more beneficial emperor if they do go within to find inner wisdom. A wise ruler is always better than an unwise ruler. Uh, so, rulers, you must have wisdom and look out for the people that you want to rule if you take care of them they will take care of you the current president doesn't seem to understand that but then he doesn't understand much so well, i guess we have to give him a break so there's our third nine nine number nine number nine number nine we will divine our inner wisdom how about that one 8.40 for the quality power, uh, eight plus four is 12. 12 is the hangman. Um, 
sort of similar to the hermit, really, in many ways. Um, he's an adept. Uh, we can tell this by his the crown on his head, the corona, the circle of light, the aura of of the body is a glowing golden. Um, he's hanging by one foot in a yoga pose. Um, if he was standing up, that would be a pretty adept. Uh, pose to ha be able to hold, I would have a problem with it. Um, well, only on my right foot, because my right foot is off at an angle, so that I can walk and not walk with a limp. Uh, yeah, they, they can do that when they shatter when I shatter the my ankle. <laughs> All right, so the hangman, the hangman. Let's see, there's there's a litany I go through here. So it is obviously a suspension of action. He's not doing anything but ha hanging out there. Um, then there is um, the change in perspective because he's looking at things from upside down. It's from another angle, right? Uh, 180 degrees from where it normally would be, right? So we want to take a good look at things, uh, especially things that the one stream press uh, puts up to us, and even things that the inter our <clears throat> favorite internet sites uh, bring out to us. It's hard to find data sometimes. Uh, I had a little problem looking up that Supreme Court case that everybody's talking about by the brothers that are trumpeters, trumpets, going, wait a minute. You were supposed to have 10 days of review here after an election has been questioned. And there was funny questions about the one in... Um, back a while let's just say you don't want to give the algorithms anything to latch on to no 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 the frequency the frequency that's what we really come here for right is this human frequency what are we vibrating at in our alpha state well we've got a high of 7.89 hertz and a low of 7.63 hertz which isn't all that low um Oh, wait, 789, excuse me. Did I say something else? Haha. <laughs> okay, so we. Uh, those two together, we get 1552, I believe. Bang. And. Yeah, 1550. Two, which is 7.76, 7 7.76, plus six, oh gosh, that's 20, <clears throat> 20, it's the aeon, and what do we do at the, uh, at the end of an aeon? We have judgment day, so this is why the aeon and the judgment kind of go together. Uh, so we are at that stage, really, folks. We're at the end of an age. The age of Pisces is uh, upon us. We are within it by now. Uh, I say this um, because the fifth dimension told me so. They were seeing in the 60s, the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Well, if that was the dawn, um, and, you know, you can dispute that. It might have been not until 2012. I wouldn't argue with that. Uh, that corresponds to the Mayan calendar. Um, anyway, I digress. I got off on a tangent. Uh, sort of, kind of. 
well, talking about aeons, um, there's a corona hole is turning away. I don't know if we're going to have anything coming off of that. That's a very interesting picture there of, of our sun. A model of it with the planets running or circulating around it. Or maybe spiraling around it. Oh, we do see a small CME coming off, uh, a little flaring coming off the sun um, at about a 45 degree angle away from us, which just barely brushes brushes us according to that. Uh, I think this is a goes. But we use this one down here because we, then we can see the thigh angle flips down here on the bottom. And we know that that meant there was some really peaky x-rays coming at us. We are being bombarded. Um, the density is up. Uh, I would say it's above the 10 line. I'm pretty sure. Um, but you know, it may only be 11 or something like that protons per second or whatever it is. Now we're looking in the purple here. We're looking at the, uh, solar wind speed and they're measuring it. Let's see, we're going to 650 uh, all the way down to 300, I think. So this one is at the second box down. So one, two. So we're right in the 500. Or is that 550? The 550 range. We're in the 550 kilometers per second. So we did a dip down to 400. Uh, or 450, I mean, maybe. So we're bouncing between the two. We'll say 500. Temperature is up pretty close to that 500,000 Kelvin, I'm pretty sure. Okay, aha, and here we are, the first three hours of the day, so from midnight to, <clears throat> midnight to 3 a.m., we were at a 4, which is a minor geomagnetic storm. Uh, not much to see here, folks, let's move on. Um, then we went to a two, stayed at two for uh, six hours that time. So from three to nine a.m., we were at a two. Then we jumped up to a three for a little bit, three hours. And they took us to the noon hour. And then we went to a little below a two, a lot below a two, more about halfway between a one and a two. And then we went back to a bit, almost two. So twos mostly throughout the day uh, with that four to start us out. So if you woke or had weird dreams in the first three hours of the night, that was probably why. That would have affected those things, I'm thinking. Pretty sure, yeah. That's what I think. You can have your own opinion about that data. I uh, just showed it to you, and you can just make up your own mind. Do let me know, though. I mean, if you've got a different view, I am interested in, especially if you've got a good argument as to why it should be that way. Uh, not that you have to give me that. You know, if you just, as long as you feel you've got a good argument um, for why it should be some other way. Um, you know, let me know and I'll, I'll look into it. Oh, I was going to, I was going to, yeah, actually, I think I will try to show you that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, well, we'll do it this way first. We'll, we'll move over to that screen. Oops. I guess we won't. There we 
go. Now we can do the share screen. I do believe, I do believe we can do a share screen now on the thing I wanted to share. Anyhow, so there's been this thing about the Supreme Court is going to hear, uh, and we're at the Supreme Court site here. We've got the case document. Um, I'm going to try to figure out how I can find out if what the docket is for uh, this case um, that the Trumpeter brothers, um, Bronson, Branson, the Branson brothers, have brought a case through the Tenth Circuit to the Supreme Court to review uh, their contention that um, back in the day, let's say uh, over two years ago, that um, things were, there was some serious questions that were not addressed and they should have gotten their 10 days of review and they didn't. Um, I know I'm being really cagey about what I'm saying here <laughs> and describing this because it's just, uh, you can't question this stuff uh, on YouTube. YouTube is um, deep state, I'm going to say, pretty much, because, uh, you know, they, I cannot talk about the Supreme Court if they're looking at anything to do with um, 2020. And um, that's kind of sad. And I'm looking at this, I mean, I, I clicked on one of these and it took me to a site and there's a whole bunch of dockets of that they're hearing the arguments of. But with this one was we want to see if they were reviewing it. They've taken it out of there. Well, I guess we could look in this and see if it's, uh, well, we'll click on this and then we'll go over there and you'll see what I've got to deal with here. So I see a whole lot of verses here, and I don't really see any way to awake. Oh, Granted, two twenty-eight twenty-two. So these are all courses that. Uh, Okay, so it was granted so that they, I think that means that they, argument date 11, 17, 22. So, yeah, this, uh, we're not going to find it here, I don't think. Oh, I don't know, 11, 7, 11, 7, 22. So, they were just going to be looking at it on the 6th today. Or on this day, I think. Well, I don't know what this date is. Uh, that's 10 4 there for the argument date. But see, here I'm on arguments, I'm not on, you know, reviews. Um, so, yeah, I was kind of hoping that I could confirm that they were at least looking at the son of a bitch, but I can't. So, I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't say. Um, if anybody out there knows a, a link, I would like to take a look at it and review it here and kind <clears> of <throat> get my own opinion on what I see there and whether I think it's going to have uh, do the things that there people are saying it's going to do, which would be to negate anybody that didn't. Um, want to review 2020 thing we do with uh, the ballots you know um anywho i guess i guess that's all i've got folks um things are hard to find for me anyway i'm i'm not not doing too well in the supreme court cases there i mean None of those cases you can tell too much about. Certainly none of them 
look like, but there is a long list, so I don't know. It's hard for me to see him. Uh, but I thought I would try. Anywho, folks, um, I suppose I should pull a card. We're going with Metatron today. Metatron says today, for your self-mastery, let's look at this card. Or maybe more than one card. We just, I don't know, folks. Oh, there we go. We got a jumper. Houston, we have a jumper. Well, it's, it's green and matches the background here. Oops, I dropped out of sight there. My, 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 this is not easy to read. Oh, that's because there isn't anything there to read. Green heart healing. And there's a crystal there. A green crystal, which would be... Uh, I would think something like this one. Uh, this is supposed to be an emerald. Heart healing green. Well, that is the um, the color of the heart chakra, isn't it? It is. Well, I can say that equivocally. It is the. Um, the heart of healing. Um, green, um, associate that with Archangel Raphael. Uh, it comes with a green or emerald color. Green Tara is another, um, well, I guess he's considered a goddess in the Chinese pantheon. Um, ascended master, at least, for sure, as is Kuan Yin. Um, well, I find green is a, my color, actually. I like, I like the color green. <laughs> See, I've got it in the background. It's the Aurora. Uh, which we probably had a little bit of flaring there um, with the solar wind. We might have had that geomagnetic activity that we had this morning. It, New midnight to three uh, might have uh, caused some stuff like this that you're seeing in the background there. Uh, so yeah, the green green is green is the earth, right? The green, good green earth, and uh, the earth can heal us. It can ground us, and through that grounding, uh, heal us. Uh, it brings us. It rotates us around away from the sun so we have darkness so we can lay down and sleep. Sleep in the dark. That's what we do. We tend to do. Well, yeah, I guess we don't do it so much anymore, do we? <laughs> now that we have electric lights and the internet and all that, hell yeah, we, we can go well into the, right into the dawn of the next day. Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, that's all I got, I guess. It's um, heart healing. Yeah, I mean, the only th other thing I can think about it is um, self-love. Self-love is uh, a way to heal the heart. Um, you, you know, 
Put your hands on your heart there and feel the energy of your heart going, com completing that circle. So it, it circulates between its upper and lower, and, and then we circulate it around from our right and our left, and yeah. So you come in like this for the Reiki on your heart, uh, sort of like uh, the paddles that they use to restart your heart. Same position. Um, because it centers it in around the heart right there, which is right about there. So physically, yeah, myocarditis, pericarditis, all those things still need healing, I'm hearing. Um, so I send energy to that happening. That, uh, they get the root product, root, uh, put out, uh, developed by Christine Rom, um, a nanobiologist. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, yeah, you can get a lot more on it on um, Michael or Jaco's uh, channel, Michael Jaco 11, I think. I don't know, though I haven't seen any videos from him there. I think he might have gotten another strike. But then again, I've gotten the strikes, you know, so I am not judging him for having strikes. I actually say, oh, good on you. You're, you must have been over the target. And I have been over the target more than once. Uh huh. Anyway, folks, uh, this is my Emerald Dragon Reiki channel trying to keep it going. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Um, doesn't cost you anything. It kind of helps me out. Um, it gets my videos shown to more people, and then they learn about this stuff.